Lenore. Yay! <laughs> How are you? And I'm just fine. How are you? Uh, so, so. I'll email you later. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. So uh, I, um, I looked around to see what kind of robots I have, and I have a special little robot here. This is... Um, the like original bristle bot. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is the very, very first one that launched, you know, tons and tons of products like the silly hex bugs and hex bug nanos and the, um, oh, there's kits everywhere. The one at Klutz and one at Make. And so that's uh, that's what I found on hand in the shelf. That's but, uh, awesome. Here he goes. <laughs> I was wondering if I can... Get the camera down here. See if I could aim at my mouse pad. No, nope, he's not going. Oh well. Anyway, so I've got that. And then my other robots that I, that I keep around are my egg bots. Nice. Which I've got two here now. I don't have them plugged in and running, but this is the original egg bot. Egg bot. So Yay. I bet you guys all or already have seen our spherical coordinate pen plotter. Oops. But the new one is our ostrich egg bot. Oh wow. So Which huge. Which is quite a bit larger. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. So someone earlier was asking how to control a stepper and like and I noticed there were steppers on the egg bots. So how do you guys control the stepper? So the the controller board for the egg bot is the EBB, which was designed by um Brian Schmaltz. And um so it's all it's all taken care of with, with that. And the way that the Eggbot works is that um, the user creates a drawing in Inkscape, and um, uh, the it it's an extension to Inkscape that drives the Eggbot. You can also control it, um, you know, any way that you want to uh, via serial via USB. But um, the primary way that people use it as uh, basically as a print printer. Nice. Um. I'm just thinking about the bristle bots again. They're like the most simplest yet epic uh, creation. Have you ever looked at the bristle bot uh, like modifications where it's like a broom bristle bot? Um, oh yeah, <laughs> we were at the Exploratorium uh, where they were doing a demo with a writable bristle bot that was built on a skateboard platform and they were using a drill with an offset weight in the in the chuck um, to ride their bristle bot down at the museum so that was kind of awesome wow that's amazing uh, so for the egg bots, there's the chicken egg ostrich egg what comes next a dinosaur egg Actually, the uh, the ostrich egg bot, um, uh, some of the eggs that we put in it, like the emu egg, very much look like dinosaur eggs. Oh, wow. Have you ever cool. seen a, an emu egg? I saw the one that was etched on your website, but not in your Yeah, they're, they're dark green, and they look kind of alien. Um, they're pretty awesome. So... Um, I don't think we need to do dinosaur egg bots. I think a lot of the smaller dinosaur egg bots will fit in the ostrich egg bot. Oh, cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, so how long did it take you to design the egg bot? Uh, so the original egg bot was designed in 1990. And um, when we worked with the original designer, Bruce, to bring out the kit, it took us probably almost a year to get it um, to the complete design that we we're able to release. That, that's my guess, um, just kind of by memory. But it took quite a bit of time of working with the team to um, 
get it to a point where it was a kit that other people could build reliably, had good software to run it, um, and uh, was viable as a product. Wow. That's really cool. And so for people watching, where can we find out more about this robot? Um, actually, egg-bot.com is the easy one. Or um, you can go to evilmedscience.com as well and uh, find Eggbot among many other things. Awesome. Many other things like Jita tutorials. Actually, I was wondering, how do you pronounce that uh, program, G E D A. We say we say uh, Jada. Okay. I've heard people say Gata, Gita, Jida, um, but I say Jada. Okay, cool. That solves a huge mystery in my head. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for showing us your robots. That was totally cool. Well, thanks. <laughs>